Good morning everyone. I absolutely love this weather. Oh my hair is so grim, sorry. Um, I can't get out if he's parked there. Can I get out of there? I am not a good driver. I'm just about to drop David off at the train station because he's got an exciting meeting today which is cool. Um, but. I have literally just rolled out of bed and put some clothes on. So that is why this whole situation is happening. It looks like I've got a mullet. Um, is that what it's called? A mullet? Yeah, you know the thing. Are you, ha are you drunk? And therefore... I couldn't get out. David said to move his car. I am the world's worst driver. I don't know how I passed my test. Also, fun fact, I crashed the day that I passed. Yep, we won't go into it because my mum still doesn't know, so neither does my dad, so shh. Also, if you're watching this, sorry that I never told you, I was terrified. <laughs> really random, I've just dropped David off. That's not the random part because that's quite normal, I think. Um, I just said think instead of think. Wow! Whenever I drop off David or just go to a train station and then I drive home, there's this place that I drive past called Home Sense, but it's always traffic and you can never get in the car park and the car park is always full. So I've never gone in, but I heard that it's amazing because it's like TK Maxx. It's owned by TK Maxx, but it does homeware. So it's like all of the, like, expensive stuff but on like crazy sale and we're moving in like two weeks and we don't have anything like pots and pans and stuff like that or just like i'm really excited about buying pillows which is like grossing me out because it's like a mum thing and i don't know why i'm excited about pillows but i even had a dream about filling the couch with pillows that's weird but I'm excited about it, so I'm just going to roll with it. So I've just come into the car park and I'm going to go see what all of the HomeSense hype is about. Although, I'm not sure there's any HomeSense hype. I'm just weirdly excited about the whole thing. Also, there's other shops in here like DFS. <laughs> it's like heaven. Nope, not a fan. Didn't understand the fuss. I'm not ready to be mumsy yet. I um, didn't get excited about the pillows. I'm done, I'm going home. I really, really, really want to try and film that cover that I was, or song, I'm not making sense. <laughs> I really wanna try and record the song that I was trying to learn last week because I finally can play it like properly. Thank God, it took like a whole week to learn because it was really tricky. Um, I'm just moving this, sorry for the noise. Yeah, I finally, have learned how to play it properly so i am going to try and film a cover of it but i'm just not really sure whether it sounds good or not i'm going to set up and then i'll let you know how it goes or i'll just show you a little preview while i'm recording but fingers crossed it's all good also my finger i can bend it yeah it doesn't hurt i can't believe a bone takes such little time to heal I really thought that it was going to take like a good month. It's sore, but it's like, I couldn't do that last week. Filming went surprisingly well actually, um, but I've just had to pop out because David got back from London um, and he needs picking up from the station, so I'm going to go get him quickly. I found this new resting point, which I quite enjoy. It means I don't have to hold the camera. Look who's here. It's David Gibbs. Hi. Look at David becoming a vlogger. <gasps> What's going on? <laughs> I can't decide whether I like the cover that I filmed today. I don't think I do. And it's stressing me out. <laughs> but like, normally, if I don't feel confident about one, then it's not very good. Or I'm just too much of a perfectionist and I just not getting a good feeling about it and I can't pick between three different takes and I feel like if one isn't standing out then it then it probably isn't very good so I don't really know what to do I'm gonna wait for David to come home because he's just gone to a meeting quickly um he should be home in like half an hour so I'm gonna ask him but he's always too nice he just says yeah he thinks that it's good <laughs> but I'm not sure about this to be honest 
I'll show you a little bit. You know just what to say. Shit that scares me, I should just walk away. But I can't move my feet. The more that I know you, the more I want to. Something inside me has changed. I was so much younger yesterday. David just gave me a wine gum and we don't know if I'm allergic to it but I've already started eating it so it's just uh, we don't know what to do so he's just run to find the ingredients but I can't swallow just in case I'm allergic no spit it out spit it out spit it out, spit it out. <laughs> don't do that they don't taste as good as real wine no they're so much better Marks, this is my favourite wine gums I've I don't like these. Well, stop eating them then. Be rude to waste it. I'm going to give you a word and you've got to fit it in a song, okay? No, three words and you've got to fit them in a song. Okay. The words are sock, love, and happy. Sing about how it makes you feel when you have odd socks. Ebony C, that's not my last name. Ebony D. <laughs> What charger? The computer charger. But I'm a really good girlfriend and I charged the camera already oh, for you. Did. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> you are just fantastic elf. Yes. We're about to go to bed, but first we're going to watch Long Lost Family. I don't know if any of you guys have ever watched this program, but we love Davina McCall. Actually, you love Davina McCall. Um, fine piece of ass. <laughs> Yeah, she's a fine piece of ass. Um, but there's this show that she hosts called Long Lost Family, and it's amazing. If you have ITV player, go watch it. It's called Long Lost Family. It's pretty good. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I love you very much, and um, I hope you've all had a good day. Okay, see you in the morning. Bye.